idea. Trustee Bell. Here. Trustee Brewer. Here. Trustee Grant. Here. Trustee Jasinski. Here. Trustee Todd. Here. And Trustee Williams. Trustee Grant? Yes. Trustee Jasinski? Yes. Trustee Todd? Yes. Trustee Williams?
<coughs> Call the meeting to order. I'll ask for a motion to reconvene. So moved. Second. It was moved by Trustee Bell and second by Trustee Ty. Any questions? Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Brewer? Yes. Trustee Grant? Yes. Trustee Jasinski? Yes. Trustee Todd? Yes. Trustee Williams? Yes. Trustee Bell? Yes. Motion is carried. I'll accept the motion to approve the journal proceedings for the May 14, 2019 regular board meeting. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Williams, second by Trustee Bell. Any questions? <coughs> Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Trustee Grant? Yes. Trustee Jasinski? Trustee Todd? Yes. Trustee Williams? Yes. Trustee Bell? Abstain. Trustee Brewer? Yes. Motion is carried. I'll accept the motion to approve the proceedings for the inaugural board meeting. That was the second meeting on um, the same night, May 14, 2019. So moved. Second. Moved by Trustee Bell, second by Trustee Jasinski. Any questions? Mm -hmm. Madam Clerk. Trustee Jasinski? Yes. Trustee Todd? Yes. Trustee Williams? Yes. Trustee Bell? Yes. Trustee Brewer? Yes. Trustee Green? Yes. Motion is carried. Item number five, public comment. Uh, we don't have a mic up there. All questions and comments will be directed to the mayor. Each speaker may comment on any matter pertaining to the business of South Village. Each okay. speaker is allowed one opportunity to speak for three minutes. Um, as I stated before, if it gets personal, I will stop. Um, at that time, I will stop questions. So if it gets too personal, as far as you get any personal and start asking questions about the business of the village, I will stop that. I listen to all comments, and at the end, I will reply all that, um, that pertain to it. Can you step up, please, give your name? Give the mic. Judy Cast here. On your um, um, reports of trustees and standing committees, I've waited since the new trustees got in to see what was going to happen. And um, one thing has been overlooked time after time, and that is who's going to take care of parks and recreation. I know you indicated that you wanted to hire somebody part-time to run the community center, but that doesn't account for who's going to have accountability for what goes on. And I'd like to know who that is going to be. Um, and nobody has said anything at all about parks and recreation. It's summertime, the kids are all over the place, and we have nothing going on. Um, I don't know what can be done, but it would help if we knew who was going to be taking part in it and see if that's something that we might be likely to volunteer for, depending on who's going to be running it. Thank you. Tammy Jones, I just want to know if there was maybe possibly a better way of handling um, the interviews you guys just did. We just sat here for two hours, and it's really unjust to the residents.
My name is Deborah Johnston. I'm a real estate agent. My client here had a home inspection done by Mr. J. Rogers yesterday and was told that the village was corrupt and that all of her previous certifications she had done were null and void and that she would have to pay for every permit over. There's a total of like five of them. Um, so she can talk to you here. Yeah, I was talking to him, but because um, I told them that I pay in the beginning and I have all the, uh, all my uh, receipts that I pay. And he said, no, there is no records in the village that you pay, so you're gonna have to pay. Because he, now he gonna make everything straight. He said, because everybody from before, they removed it because they all like uh, corrupt. I was talking about like, uh, that in that moment when I bought my house in 2015, I was um, told him that uh, the Sherry, you know, she's the one who helped me out. She was in church and he, uh, he said that he's, she's not there no more. So she was removed because she was corrupt. She was she people. Mm. Mm. She said you removed because you were corrupt. Okay. Yeah, that's what's nice. Could you repeat that last statement? I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. She says that's what they The guy, Jay Rogers, is a, he's an inspection. Um, he went to get my inspection, and he was complaining about my whole house. Since I have recently, it was four years ago, that he has everything done. They inspect everything from the village, and now he says that nothing is valid no, no more. I have to pay for all my my permits again. Mm -hmm. So I just like I, I he want me to do my 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 stairs, my the um the one, driveway one the everything. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, so he want me to do the whole house. So and and I have the electric, the wires and I just had done that four years ago. So I was that's my issue. What what is her name? What is her name? My name? Well, I don't know her name. But her okay. name was Deborah Thomas. My name is Juana Salazar. Juan. Okay. Salazar. Yes. Joanna. Joanna Salazar. Joanna. I live in two two four zero seven Yates Avenue. So he said he didn't even give me the list because I. He was charging me 300 and then I didn't even know that I had to pay that. So I said, I don't have that money, but but uh, he said, well, I'm not gonna give you the list, but it was like so many things that I had to, mm -hmm. to do it. He said, if you wanna sell your house, you're have, you gonna have to do this. The mayor will respond after everyone has finished. In regards to the um, Parks and Recreation Director, um, at this particular point in time, um, we don't have one, but I will be monitoring the Parks and Rec the, uh, Department. Um, we're looking for someone to actually, uh, we, we, we do have a person that now that's working in the um, gym and in the um, community center, and we're looking, um, we're trying to bring some other programs in. Right now it's working on an interim, I'm sorry, on a volunteer basis, but it seems like they're doing a pretty decent job, and hopefully we can get someone to come in to be a part time. Um, as far as the interview process, um, I've been a trustee since 2006. First time I've ever sat where the whole board actually um, interviews the people. So that's why it took so long because you got the whole board. Usually you have a um, consortium of people that would that would come out interview or they would come into a certain period of time. But I was notified that this is what they wanted to do today have the interview today at the board meeting. So I thought we were gonna have more lawyers, so that's why I try to move it up first uh, and get rid of, because we had an executive session there. So I was trying to make sure that we got 
that done, but hopefully next time um, it doesn't take that long of a period of time. But as I said before, I've never had the whole board interview. When I mean, you have seven people asking questions, um, it's going to be rather lengthy if you get five people. Um, I, I, to make that kind of statement, ma'am, I'm sorry that that happened. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, but I, I'm sorry. Just, I'm talking about the statement as far as uh, uh, trust, uh, as far as Sherry being corrupt and all that. I, I, I'm sorry that someone told you that uh, because that whoever told you that, you really need to find out because that's a, that's a libel. Libel. Uh, Basically, it's very liable for someone to say something like that. So, you know, for, for somebody to say something that way, that's, that, that's totally wrong. So I'd like to find out more about that. But in regards to what it is that you have to do to get that uh, property under uh, control, I'm sure that you can come in tomorrow. We have people that have a person here that, that, can, that can take care of that to find out the proper way. Uh, I'm just giving a quick summary. Um, you, you notice for you to get an occupancy permit, you have to have an um, inspection. Now, whatever it entails, it doesn't mean that you, just because you had an inspection three or four years ago, that it means something right now. If you get an occupancy permit, you have to have an inspection now. So, but you had one before and you weren't the person that, that actually lived there, you coming in, you would want someone to inspect your property um, and you're moving in brand new. So if you're moving in brand new, you would want that to happen. And as far as you're saying that the $300 or whatever case, we don't, that's nothing that the village charges. That's between you and whoever you get to do the inspection. So that's, we don't have a person that does inspections for money. So, I mean, we have a person that does the inspections, but they, but they don't give you certification. They come and inspect, but they don't certify. So if you have someone that you want to have to come out and certify your furnace, electrical, plumbing, roof, pipe, uh, uh, anything like that, that's separate, that would be on you, the contract, someone to do that. That being said, um, next item is reports of officers, the mayor's report. I'm going to defer my report to our um, interim um, community and economic development director. Um, I'm sure everyone has been down 394 and saw what's going on there. So I'm not going to say any more about that. We need to. Um, I will move along. So the next item is um, Bill's clerk, Bob Campbell Pruitt. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to be very brief as well. Um, I would like, though, for people to pull out your calendars or your telephones or whatever and mark the date November the 29th. I know that I'm asking you to really look ahead, but the reason I'm asking you to look ahead is because I need you to clear your calendars for that day, even though it's the day after Thanksgiving, it's Black Friday. Many of you may want to go shopping. I'm asking you to forego shopping because that is the day that we will be hosting a luncheon, a holiday luncheon for those who are in need, whether they are homeless or whether they have no family or limited family and they just don't want to be alone, we are going to have a luncheon for them. And we being the community partners that is a part of uh, our village as well as the Eastern Stars, and I also found out today that they may include a Masonic group as well, just so that we can have some men to help us with the loading and toting and serving and all of that. So I am asking you in advance to hold on to that day. Um, Mr. Mayor, Mr. James Mack came before us, oh, I would say maybe seven, eight months ago. He came at a committee meeting and he was really exciting, excited to bring an arts program to the village at no cost to the village at all. I asked him to please wait until 
the new election, the election took place simply because I was told that um, someone who was supposed to work with them did not really have time to follow up as you had asked. Well, I would like to say that the village clerk's office will be following up with Mr. Mack, with this program, and it's something that the village clerk's office would like to bring. If you would like for me to have him come back and revisit with us so that new trustees, you can hear the program offerings that he has, I can make arrangements for him to do that this uh, next Tuesday. Just please let me know your preference and you can let me know that offline. That completes my report, thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Very short report. The West Elevated Tank Riser Pipe Replacement Project will be rebid on July 9th. The project will be advertised in the South Town and we will be contacting contractors who do this type of work to notify them about the project. That concludes my report. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. Um, Fire Department, I'm Captain Dennis Finley. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The fire Department responded to 32 calls for service for the period from June 6th through June 20th. The most serious was a structure fire on Murphy Avenue. The fire was through the roof by the time we arrived on scene. We had fire departments from our neighboring communities come to assist. The cause is still under investigation. Uh, Fourth of July is just around the corner, so we'd like to remind everybody, please be safe. Let the professionals handle the fireworks. That concludes my report. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. <coughs> Police Department Chief Malcolm White. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. For the period of uh, <coughs> June 12th through June 25th, the Police Department received and uh, answered uh, 465 calls for service. During that same time period, uh, we made 18 arrests. On Saturday, July 2019, the Board of uh, Fire and Police Commissioners for Salt Village has been granted access to the Bloom Trail High School to administer the testing process to establish an eligibility list for the position of probationary police officer. The testing includes an orientation, a power test or a physical wellness test, a written exam and an oral interview. Uh, interested applicants can find the information on the process on the blueline.com and I believe there's a link on the, uh, on the village website. That concludes my report. Thank you. Community Development and Economic Development, our Interim Director, um, Tanya McCoy. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, my report is very short. I just want to introduce myself as the Interim Community and Economic Development Director and to invite you guys to the grand opening of the Gas and Wash this Friday at 10 a.m. That concludes my report. Thank you, I don't know if you heard, but yes, uh, all invited at 10 o'clock. Um, I don't think I need to tell you where it's gonna be located, but those that don't know, it's right there at 394 and Salt Trail. Okay, uh, reports of trustees, standing committees and comments. Trustee Gary Bell. The next safety committee meeting will be July the 16th at 11 a.m. here in the Rotunda, and I'd also like to be put on for the next committee of the whole meeting for discussion about honorary streets and building. Honorary street signs and a dedication of a building. Public Service Committee, Trustee Bernice Brewer. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we are scheduling uh, an energy assessment uh, program for the ComEd and NICOR that's going to be on July 19th. 
and that will be our second annual one, and that's the end of my report. Thank you. Budget and Finance, um, Trustee Roger Grant. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, comment about my committee. I do plan to uh, yes. come back with proposals to the board about some of the uh, cost saving initiatives that we could possibly do to kind of balance that budget uh, pretty soon. Also, Madam Clerk, could you put me down with the committee as a meeting next week as well for uh, expected revenue for the gas and wash and how do we plan to use that money so it just doesn't get lost in the general fund? And then the last comment is that I believe we all received the new uh, accounts payable. The only thing that changed was the decrease in the medical insurance uh, about a couple, couple thousand dollars. Uh, so just wanted to make that note as well. And that's all I have. Okay, that, that request for the meeting would have to be the third week. And that's, that's, fine. that's fine. Okay. Um, Trustee Sherry Jasinski. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The Housing Committee will meet July 10th at 7 o'clock here in the boardroom. That concludes my report. Thank you. Ordinance Review Committee, Trustee Linda Tide. Thank you. Um, the next Ordinance Review meeting will be July 8th at 11 a.m. here. We met yesterday. Uh, we're working on an ordinance um, in regards to dog kennels. Also looking at several other things in the ordinance for dogs. But as far as um, you see in your packet, the standing committee, that should not be in the packet because it needs to be discussed with um, the uh, trustees. And I just had had that all typed up. So we will not be voting on that. I need to put on the next committee on the whole so we can discuss it. And that concludes my report. Thank you. Trustee Debbie Williams. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First of all, I have to apologize. I misspoke at that first vote. I'm so sorry. It is so hot in here. I should have abstained. I know better. I was not a sworn in member of the board at that time. So if the clerk would be so kind as to uh, change my vote to an abstain, I would appreciate it. Second of all, I also apologize for the executive session. When I found out what we were going in there for today, I did ask to have it on the back end. And while we were in there, I asked to come back in and go back out. We have a lot of business that needs to be taken care of. And unfortunately, some of it can only be done in executive session. So I apologize for the delay that we caused the residents. The Public Events Committee met and we talked again about several things that we'd like to do as soon as possible. We're trying to bring some new, fresh ideas to the board. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to have monthly workshops the fourth Saturday of July, August, and September. Um, I don't have the flyers in the exact scope yet, but just know that on the fourth Saturday of July, August, and September, there will be workshops in the morning. And we have the recycling event has been confirmed with Commissioner Donna Miller's office for August 17th. You can bring in your prescription drugs, your electronics, and your paper to be recycled. One TV is allowed. And also on August 17th, it's been confirmed, the Mentoring Youth Through Technology, we're looking for 29 to 13 year olds for the hours of one through four. This event will be held in the Senior Center and what they're going to be doing is teaching the children, the 20 of the nine to 13 year olds, about robotics. It's a very interesting program. It's been held in other communities and we're looking forward to a new partnership with this organization, Mentoring Youth Through Technology. We also have a committee member who is going to be working on hosting a brunch with local elected officials, and I appreciate her input. And we have a couple other committee members that have decided that they would like to also take charge of some events, so more details as they come. And you can contact me if you have any questions. Our next meeting is uh, July 18th at 5 p.m. Thank you very much. Thank you. Reports of committees and commissions, Senior Advisory Council, Chairman um, Emmett Farmer. Thank you, Mayor, Trustees. Uh, it's a mistake uh, on the first uh, uh, part of the report. It says our next meeting for the Senior Advisory Council is Thursday. It's actually July 11, 2019, and all are welcome. Game night is every first and third Friday in the Senior Center. Please come out one of these Fridays and invite the seniors for beer quiz and other games. Also, we're having a senior potluck, and that's gonna be Tuesday, July 16th, from 11 to 2 p.m. We welcome all seniors to participate and bring some fantastic dishes. 
please contact Paul Ed Meeks or Carol Colvin and let them know what you'll be, what you are bringing. Also, uh, Medicare awareness meetings on Tuesday, July 9th and Tuesday, July 23rd, 2019 from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. We'll be specializing in Medicare plans for seniors that have diabetes and or heart disease and low income subsidies that will help them save on their prescription drugs. Thank you all. That concludes my report. Thank you. New business. I'll accept the motion to approve the payroll and accounts payable and disbursements in the amount of $323,211.20. Uh, Mr. Mayor, that number changed. Uh, the new number is $320,255.63. Okay. $320,255.63. I'll accept the motion. So moved. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to make a motion to approve accounts payable with the following exceptions and continued directions to direct the interim finance director to stop all payroll payments for the positions of fire administrator, community development director, and interim community development director. The positions of Interim Economic Development Director and Fire Administrator have not been approved in the 2019-2020 budget, and these appointments have not been made with the advice and consent of the board. It is further directed that Dr. Alicia Strouder receive payment only for the amount covered in the statement of work that was previously approved by the board, which was $85 per hour for 17.45 hours of work for a total of $1,483.25 per week, until which time any consultant fees other than those included in the statement of work are approved with the advice and consent of the board. The statement of work also includes a maximum approved budget amount of $6,000 a month total. The mayor does have the right to appoint, but only with the advice and consent of the board. The board will continue to monitor past and future appointments and act accordingly. That's a motion. Okay, second. First, first, first of all. Second. First of all, there is there was a motion on the floor. There wasn't a there second was a act. <laughs> Excuse me. There was a motion on the floor. There wasn't a second. I didn't get a chance to say the motion was lost before this motion was put. So I asked for a second. I didn't get one yet. But then there was another motion put in. That's not parliamentary procedure. And I'm sure you know that as a as I apologize. Oh, so can we do that? That being said. I'm asking, is there a second for the original motion? Okay, if not a second, then it will be lost for the lack of, mo of, uh, of a second. Now, for the second part that you put in for the motion to exclude X, Y, and Z, all of these things that you put up there already, I have this to say. First of all, trustee, uh, when she was hired, <coughs> Uh, it was put in her contract, as you stated, for X amount with the approval. I don't, you've got to keep reading that statement with the approval of the village, of the, of, the, of the mayor. Now, she was giving extra hours at the time that we didn't have a village uh, finance director. Herself and her treasurer, before you became trustee, the village, the board that was here, okayed that because of that reason. Now, you're saying that you don't want to pay for X amount. Now you're trying to, I don't know if you're, if you're um, but that's what you're, that's exactly what you're doing is you're changing her, her, her rate. And it was put in there that she would do 24 hours a week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, eight hours a day, until such time we get someone to fill that position. No, so, so when you make these motions, you got to understand that there's repercussions that come behind that. And then the other part, I didn't get a chance because I wasn't really listening, that you didn't want to pay. Well, I wasn't listening because the motion wasn't done properly. You want to pay, so can you please tell me what it is you don't want to, what else you don't want to pay? 
Well, the way I was, it was explained to me by board members who were on the board previous to this, the only thing that was approved by the board was the statement of work. If that was a mistake from the previous board members, then I need clarification as a new board member. You have to remember, you got board members that weren't here when all of this was happening. That's what I said. I have you a statement of work in front, and, and I'm willing to listen to you. Okay. And I'm willing, willing to hear the truth. Okay. I'm willing to see what you have. I'm willing to see okay. board minutes that stipulate to the extra hours that were given to this okay. position. Because all I've been given, and I asked for this information, all I've been given is a statement of work. And this statement of work said that, that the, the pay will be no more than $6,000 per month. If you look at the accounts payable that is before us today, if you add up the $2,295, $2,295, $850, and $807, you've got almost $5,000 for two weeks of work. So that far exceeds, this, almost exceed, well it will exceed, if that were to be doubled, we would be doubling what the statement of work is. If you have a new statement of work or a new contract with Dr. Strader, we need to know. Yeah, you're, I'm, I'm trying to talk over you. And, and you're not going to do that. You will not be successful, I guarantee you. Excuse Let, me. Excuse me. I know what I am, and I am keeping order. Let me review was what just happened. Let me question. refer you to what just happened. Trustee Grant made a motion. Because there was a lack of a second, the motion failed. Prior to that, you entered a long, lengthy motion that did not go. The mayor shared that with you. You agreed. You apologized. Then, before the mayor had an opportunity to ask if there was anyone else willing to speak, you just started talking. So right now, the discussions that's taken place it's not on the agenda. You have to let your mayor control his meeting. Otherwise, we're out of order. And we do not want to be out of order. Can we give the control of this meeting back to the mayor? He is the presiding officer of this form. You don't have to look at me with that, those eyes that you've got. Okay. I, look, I look for respect. <laughs> Hold it. We not, we're not, we're not going to do that. That's just We're not going to that's do totally that. Okay, well, we're not going to, that's what I said, we're not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, that's totally disrespectful. We're, I'm not going to be disrespectful. Okay. We're, we're not going to go back and forth. We're not putting the show on. Popcorn is not available, and we're not going to rerun. So I'm just saying, only thing I'm asking you, and I said, if you had came to me, this was, this was done last week, I'm sure, this, uh, this particular um, um, accounts payable, because it's, it's, it's brought to you guys a week ahead of time. Had someone came to me and said, can you explain this, I would have been more than glad to show you where it is stated that we did this back at that time. But to wait now, the time that we get ready to vote and to come up with your dissertation and everything and say we're not going to pay because of A, B, and C, I think it's really wrong. But as you stated before, as you told me before, we got the board, we got the votes. Okay, fine. I'm just letting you know that to go around, as you've done before me, to even ask, is this pliable? Is this correct? Why is she getting so much money other than what she was supposed to get? I would have been glad to show you where it was voted that they did extra hours along with Mr. Finch because of the reason. So now you're asking to take her salary and I don't know who the other Mr. Are. Mayor, I I'm going to hold you as well. There is no motion on the floor. There is no need for discussion unless you are leading the charge. Are you going to? Well, I'm asking, okay, I'm the asking, motion asking, failed. Asking, Where do you go failed. now? Uh, that motion failed, so there was another motion on the floor. No, her motion was before that. Okay, so then so I now, ask it, okay, but then we just be redundant. Are you that, going, that's it. Are you going to be, are you making the motion now, uh, Trustee yes. Williams? Are you, making, are you, you are recognizing uh, me, Mr. Mayor, because I don't want the court yes, to cut her eyes uh, yes, at me. Are you amending yes, sir. the motion? Okay, yes. I would like to make a motion. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, I would, I would like to make a motion, and based on what you just said, I will amend my motion this way. I will make this motion. I will make this motion. We can be disrespectful if we want to. We're not going to go. I make a motion to approve accounts payable with the following exceptions and continued directions to direct the interim finance director to stop all payroll payments for the positions of fire administrator, community development director, and interim community development director. The positions of interim economic development director and fire administrator have not been approved in the 2019-2020 budget, and these appointments have not been made with the advice and consent of the board. It is further directed that Dr. Dr. Alicia Strada received payment only for the amount covered in the statement of work that was previously approved by the board, which was $85 per hour for 17.45 hours of work for a total of $1,483.25 per week, in which time any other consultant fees other than those included in the statement of work are approved with the advice and consent of the board. Having been told that those things have been approved by your previous board, I am only asking that those payments be withheld until the new board can review the statements that you say are now currently in place because the only thing I have and I asked for this information and the only thing I was provided for Dr. Strouder was a statement of work that says that there's a cap of $6,000 which I see by looking at the accounts payable we're about to exceed that $6,000 in two weeks so Mr. Mayor if you could provide those things my motion is to withhold that until which time the board can review it and you can do the same thing you've done before you can set it on a table and we can look at it. Is there a second for this? Second. Is there a question? I do have a question. I'm trying to see if I can formulate this correctly. But it seems very, very, very obvious that people that were part of or whatever prior to you coming in are being attacked. You came in, you came in attacking Dr. Strader, and you came in attacking Mr. Wizzawani, refusing to pay him. Okay, you didn't say what was you, what was you looking for. I'm still waiting to hear that from a, whatever lawyer that's supposed to be coming in. That hasn't happened yet. But now to stop someone's paycheck because you didn't see, and didn't ask to see, a, a, a uh, didn't ask me to show where the uh, hours were added, which it was added, to, to, to just say, I don't want to pay. Now it seems it's personal, and it is personal. So if that's what this board wants to do, is withhold those three positions, and the other one is an interim position. I could, I, all I did was elevate this person to an interim position. It's not permanent. It's interim till we find someone. But to say that it's not a, a 19 and 20s budget, 19 and 20s budget hasn't started yet. That's right. So this is 18 and 19 budget. And yes, that money was in there for that. But to make that statement that it was in the new budget, we're still talking about the new budget. It hasn't even started. We still got a meeting tomorrow that's going to last until 12 o'clock about the 19, uh, uh, 18 and 19 budget. So to use that as is not in the budget is wrong, it's false. However, if this board wants to vote not to pay a person for services rendered, I just want to make sure that's on the record that the board does not want to pay a person for services rec rendered and you want to take that particular, because if the people that you're talking about, it is a personal thing. So if that's what you want to do, and um, because last time they had to show everything they did from the time they got up in the morning to the time they left this building, and you came in to, to, to look at their recipe, I mean, look at their uh, invoices. So nothing's changed. So yes, it seems like it is personal at this point. At that, I will take a vote. I'm sorry, but at I need that, to. At that, I will take a vote. No, Mr. Mayor, I, I need have, to be able I, to That was my question. You made your right. statement, trustee. You made your statement. And a trustee is able I, to come I back and question. Rebuttal. I had a question. You that was my that question. Up in I'm not, I'm not going to take it anymore because you had your chance, trustee. At that time, when you no, gave the all that, that you had to say, that's not true. you said it twice. Trustee Jasinski, yes or no? Don't. No, you need to allow me to respond to that because you, you made a lot of false statements. You made a lot of false statements. 
You responded by making First of all, you motion. brought another former employee into this who was, there was a statement read last right, week. Now we want to debate. That's right. Well, Mr. We Mayor, you're the one that now. That's what you're doing, trustee. You're debating. I just made a comment of what I've seen in the last three weeks. Okay, you want to make That's what I made a Mr. comment. Mayor. That's all I did. Why do you make appointments uh, without coming to your board Mr. first? Mayor, this is board? all this is all about. Can we take the vote back, clerk? I know I'm out of order. But the mayor's not out of order to just make appointments whenever he gets ready. That's being taken care of out a um, acceptable all. Before we close, I'm sure that the trustees before the night's out will give 
the um, payroll clerk or someone that's in charge, well, I put it this way, the payroll clerk, what stipulations you want to have this person to get paid rather than this holding check. That being said, I accept the motion to adjourn. So, so. Thank you. Moved by Trustee Williams, second by Trustee Bell. All in favor? Aye.